Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I want to uh, welcome Mr. Allison to the committee. It's good to have you back. Much, um, I very much appreciate the opportunity to ask you a few questions. Um, during the debate last fall on, on the TARP, I was concerned that there weren't enough limitations on the TARP money that it might end up in foreign banks. Uh, and then later on, uh, we end up dealing with, with the auto dealers, uh, with the auto uh, manufacturers, particular GM and Chrysler. And, um, and there was some concern by me that the money that would be given to them wouldn't be spent domestically. And since it was taxpayer dollars, I, I thought it was important. In fact, I think at one point in time in the questioning of GM uh, uh, and Chrysler and Ford's execs, I asked uh, the question, you know, where's the money going to be spent? What's it going to be spent on? What countries are going to be spent in? Because quite frankly, these were taxpayer dollars and, and the economy here uh, was tanking in a big, big way. And I thought the right thing to do is to spend it here. In response to that, a few months after they received the $50 billion, GM went to the bankruptcy court and got a contact negated between Stillwater Mine, which supplies GM with palladium, uh, uh, got it thrown out so they didn't have to live up to it, uh, the only uh, palladium mine in the United States. And instead, they wanted to use uh, palladium and are using palladium from South Africa and Russia. And their reasoning for doing this was that they could pay back the TARP money quicker, even though a few months earlier they said they needed the money to keep their suppliers whole, of which the Stillwater Mine is one of those suppliers. 1,300 jobs, one of the largest employers in Montana, and these are jobs that have good health care benefits and good paying wages. I guess the question I have is, do you think uh, it was appropriate for GM as one of their actions, well, actually one of their first actions out of the chute, to uh, negate a contract with a U.S. company so that they could U.S. Uh, U.S. mine, I should say, so they could do business with a with a foreign mine. Uh, Senator Tester, first of all, we share your concern about maintaining jobs, not only in Montana but across the country, and that's one reason why the Obama administration has launched the largest uh, economic uh, uh, plan in the history of our country, as long as, as well as the financial stability program. Uh, again, with regard to uh, General Motors, uh, we are not taking an active role in the day-to-day -day management of that company. And we believe it's in the taxpayer's interest that we not do so. And as I've said, we've strengthened the management and the board at, at General Motors. And we do see progress. Um, uh, we, though, cannot uh, get directly involved in decisions like the one that you talked about. But in the spirit of the uh, the TARP, uh, the, the TARP dollars. Um, who gets involved? I mean, because the fact is, is uh, this is a half a million dollar hit a month to this mine. It's going to result potentially in some job loss. I can't imagine it not. And it's absolutely shipping money outside the country. And they, GM will turn around and say, yeah, but we're recycling with a Pennsylvania firm that also does all the recycling outside this country that could be done inside this country. Mm -hmm. And part of the whole idea from my perspective with the TARP money was maintaining our manufacturing base. And part of that manufacturing base is industries in this country that supply them. So who does get involved? How do we hold GM's feet to the fire? Yeah. I think we're about, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Chairman, a about a 60% owner in that company, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. I think, Senator, we have to look at the totality of the Obama administration's economic recovery programs, where there's a, a great deal of effort and funds being directed toward uh, uh, job training, toward uh, maintaining jobs, toward unemployment insurance, and so forth. We have to get this economy growing again so that we can create more jobs. And uh, we also have to assure that General Motors is in a position to grow and to employ more people down the road. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't agree with you more. And I guess the question is, is I have a level of frustration in that, um, in that GM with taxpayer dollars has chosen to do business with a mining operation that has very, very little environmental restrictions and very, very poor wages and basically sold our workers down the tube, my opinion. Um, and I guess, how do we hold GM's feet to the fire, or can it be done, or we just let them do their thing? I, quite frankly, have asked for their contracts to find out what they're paying for that palladium in South Africa and Russia, and we await that response, because I don't think they're private contracts anymore, because this company is owned a fair amount by us, the U.S. Yeah. So th the question is, is who, who can hold their feet to the fire, or am I, am I shouting into the wind blowing the wrong direction? 
Well, sir, I think you're holding their feet to the fire right now by, by, by raising this issue as effectively as you are. I will take your concerns back with me. I, I appreciate Discuss it with my colleagues. I, I do very much appreciate that, and it, 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 it's, just, it's just one of those things. Um, uh, the, the, um, the purpose of, of, of the TARP funds, and you know, uh, to provide uh, authority and facility to the Secretary so he can restore liquidity, liquidity and stability to the financial system, protect home values, college funds, retirement accounts, uh, the list goes on. Y you know what they are. Uh, keeping the original purpose of the act in mind, do you believe this should be extended? Do you believe this act should be extended out? Uh, that's a determination that the uh, Secretary of the Treasury will make later on this year. Uh, I know What's your be, recommendation to him going to be? Uh, this will be a decision that the Secretary will make. He'll have a variety of inputs. Uh, and I know uh, he's going to look at many different measures of the economy and the prospects of the economy and the financial system as he makes that decision. Well, I, I also appreciate that. Um, um, okay, okay, keeping in mind all that. Um, that's good enough for now. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.